little rhythm guitar, Fender Rhodes from me. It's probably a piece of shit, but we'll give it a shot anyway. It sounded gorgeous. Um... typical guy songs because he doesn't want to admit it. He used to cry like crazy to that song. Not love. But it's, it's all about boys loving girls and you think, oh, they don't. They're just pretending. The lyric is wonderful, that kind of ironic inversion of, you know, I'm in love, I'm not in love. Everybody feels like that sometimes. band's original manager, Jonathan King, allegedly suggested the name 10cc after seeing it in a dream. The other popular explanation is that, whether it's the source of the dream, I don't know, is that 10cc is supposedly the average male ejaculation. It's pretty weak for four guys, I think. <laughs> We paid the price for it many years later when we were touring America because uh, we'd be introduced as, ladies and gentlemen, IOC. Like walking in the rain and the snow. IOC collectively burst onto the scene in 1972. The four Mancunian musos had a string of hits throughout the 70s. Their most memorable came in 1975. You think you're gonna break up? She she wants to when we started writing the original soundtrack album, we decided that it was probably time to write a ballad, and uh, Eric came up with the title, I'm Not In Love. But I thought, I am in love. How do I get this across in another way? He didn't like to say, I love you to his wife all the time, because he felt it kind of devalued the words. Well, once I had the idea to say I'm not in love, I could give you all the reasons why I was still totally in love with this person sort of a guy saying, well, you know, this is the way I feel, and it's really just, you know, it's just very casual. But you know there's such another level to it. It's a subtext song. You know, you can actually, he's saying I'm not, in, I'm not in love, but you can see his face, you can see the lie in his eyes. I'm not in love, no, no. And Kevin Godley came up with the idea why don't we just use voices for everything? So I went into the studio, three of us, and went, ah. Uh... And then we multi-tracked the same note. It's like this heroic, angelic sound of heaven. <laughs> It's an interesting song, I'm Not In Love. I think it's a song that just doesn't seem to work when it's covered. I can't think of an instance, I could be wrong, where it's been a hit, uh, you know, as a kind of a straight cover. Can you? I'm not in love, no, no. I'm really flattered that some people think they can do this song in another way. No, no. There are maybe 50, 60 cover versions now already. Rap versions. And crap versions. I remember once watching Petula Clark doing a disco version of I'm Not In Love. It, hides a nasty scene. it was one of the most rancid moments in pop history because here's this record that whose, whose beauty is its kind of understated charm, ethereal romanticism, and there was Petula hoofing it up. No, 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 no. I thought, you've not really understood this song, have you, Pat? In the late 70s, Godley and Cream left 10cc to record their own heartbreaking songs and direct some groundbreaking videos. But the remaining members of 10CC decided to stand firm, still banging out the old favourites. It hides the nasty stains, there's lying there. 
And some years later, with an encouraging hand from the record company, the band had another spurt of creativity. Did you write it? Was it based on any kind of, you know, student experience? Very uh, romantic. Stay around, have some pink champagne at the end of the program. Um, Some people from our record company wanted to do a new version of I'm Not In Love and we stupidly and foolishly agreed. I'm not in love. They released it, I think it went to number 28 and, and then disappeared. It's just a silly phase I'm going through. floor was packed you know guys saying come on you know, let's dance they were asking you for the last dance and, and probably snog and at the same time the lyrics are kind of saying but I'm still you know I'm not gonna give my all yet it's a very clever very subtle piece of pop writing and it's not just clever it's so millions every time it's played around the world even if it's a couple of pennies it's financially very good for us uh, it's it's great my fucking art because I didn't write it. <laughs> I wouldn't be sitting here if I wrote that song. <laughs> we all know smoking is bad for